Around the world, there are over 200 million women who would like to postpone getting pregnant. You can help them. By giving them an injectable contraception called Depo, these women will have the chance to choose how to plan their families by deciding if and when to have babies. When given the choice over their families, women lead better lives. When they do have children, these children will have the chance to be healthier, better educated, and more likely to get a job to build a prosperous future for themselves. Millions of women worldwide use Depo because it's easy to use, long-lasting, and it can be stopped easily. In most circumstances, it has no effect on breastfeeding. It contains a synthetic hormone progestin, which is like the hormone already found in women's bodies. It doesn't interfere with sex. No one, including the partner, has to know they're using it, unlike other contraceptive methods like condoms. It does not involve any activity that relies on the partner, allowing the woman to decide for herself whether or not to get pregnant. It empowers women, enabling them to take control of their lives. Each dose of the injection contains 150 milligrams of Depo, which is slowly released over three months into the blood from the injection site. Depo is safe for most women. However, you should not administer Depo if the woman is pregnant or thinks she's pregnant, is breastfeeding a baby younger than six weeks old, has abnormal vaginal bleeding or severe high blood pressure, has or has had breast cancer, complicated diabetes, liver disease, a heart attack, stroke, or blood clots. Depo is administered by injections every three months. You must be trained in how and where to inject this medication safely. Depo is injected into the muscles of the arm or buttocks every three months. The first injection should be given during the first five days of the woman's monthly period to ensure she is not pregnant. Re-injections are given every three months, not more than four months after the last injection. If administered more than after the first five days of the woman's period, or more than four months after the last injection, supplemental contraceptives like condoms must be used or sex avoided for the next seven days after the injection. There are some minor side effects which may occur in some women. Headaches and dizziness, weight gain, no more monthly periods, prolonged or heavy bleeding and spotting, moodiness. If they occur, these symptoms should be observed and usually do not pose major health risks. Family planning saves lives, improves women's health, gives women the freedom of choice, and strengthens communities. For a better future, let's give women the freedom to have children by choice.